They won only one out of four on the West Coast, as Steve Levy just said. Blew a two-goal lead in San Jose Tuesday night. Left a bad taste in their mouths. And we're underway. The starting lineups are brought to you by Taco Bell. Hilding has not played much lately, but the Rangers yesterday waived the veteran Nick Benino to open up a spot for Pitlick tonight. Goodrow rolled it in on Hill, and he smothers it. With Adam Fox, they, they talk about wanting to quiet the noisy mistakes they make. It is Schneider and Lindgren, the defense pairing right now. Panarin in a glove save. Such a, a very injury list of important people, and Cassidy holds it together. Similar to last year as well when they battled injuries around the All-Star break. It is Fox out there with Gustafson in those jumbled up defensive pairings. Here's Wah backhand on Monday. Extended Vegas's road winless streak to seven games. There's a centering pass. It caromed off escape back to Haig. Some room in the circle for a shot and a goal. Paul Cotter shot it. Might have been deflected out in front. Perhaps it was Sheldon Rempel. The 28-year-old scores his first NHL goal, as you mentioned. He said there were times that he thought maybe he was never going to get one, but you hang in there and you get a chance. Here he is in front of the net. He's inside of Schneider, and it hits Rempel. It might, might hit him in the foot here. No, you know what? I don't even know if that touches him. Still playing without Philip Heedle, trying to make his way back from a concussion. Zabanajad back for Trauma, and his blast is frozen. Blake Wheeler now getting the opportunity on the wing with Kreider and Zabanajad. Fox back to Gustafson, passed up a shot. Wheeler from the circle, he scores! Blake Whaler in his first year with the Rangers has his eighth of the season to tie the game at one. Golden Knights take the lead. Here's Eric Gustafson finds Blake Wheeler. Two changes for the Rangers. Wheeler moved back up with Kako, or rather with Zabanajad and Kreider. And Gustafson moved to that partnership with Adam Fox. Both of them, he's on the goal. The Wheeler wrister. 320th career goal for Wheeler. Here's another great chance, this one from Deasy. A reverse from Haig that gets followed up with really strong work on the boards. The pinch down from Truba finds Jimmy Vesey dead center. And now it's Zach Whitecloud for Vegas. A long pass, crisply to Stone. His wrister blocked down by Shesterkin. Been a different player in that regard this year. And he has extended his home point streak to eight straight games. And as we've seen a lot of Ranger games over these last three seasons, it takes a lot to get him to leave the ice. Capo Caco with some room down low, redirected on net by Brzezinski. Poked back in deeper by Zabanajad. He has it again. Cross ice for Truba. Looking for a tip from Kreider. He was well played by Haig. Tied up. In block shots and hits. 142 blocks. Lead the league. Panarin. Rebound off of Hill. Came right to Lafreniere. Panarin. Trying to put it at the side of the net. And it shot the length of the ice by Ron Bjorg. He goes off, as does Byron Fraze, and they'll get some new penalty killers out there for Vegas. Down low, Zabanajad didn't get a lot on it. Might have missed the net. The shot came from Caden Korzak, the defenseman, out there with Martinez at the moment. Shot right on, turned aside by Shesterkin, who lost his mask. Return to help lead them to the cup. They have Aiden Hill now back, which gives them a terrific duo in net. Logan Thompson was outstanding. I think we were both paying attention, but I believe the top five in each event get points. Yes, you do, but I'm just saying you can't just participate. you got to win a couple of them things. Yes. Here's a takeaway by Panarin. Lafreniere down low. Robbed by Hill. Another turnover, this time by Alec Martinez. 
Panarin finds Lafreniere who goes to the backhand and as you mentioned he's just left shaking his head three goals in his last 30 games and they've liked the way that he's played for a lot of them in the net. slid in by Trocek he goes in after McNabb and gave McNabb a hit here's Fox nice move Fox down low try to get it to Lafreniere who's still in the crease and now a block up high here's Kolasar he scores! Keegan Colasar makes it two to one for Vegas. Rangers have controlled much of the play, and Panarin's pass shot attempt is blocked, and Colasar's off to the races. A big, fast forward plays on what's usually a really effective fourth line for Vegas with Nick Waugh and William Carrier. Eichel's out, Waugh moves up, Carrier's out. Kolasar's the last remaining member, and this is a beauty. As he beats Shesterkin clean. That time it goes right into the top shelf, and it's a beauty for Kolasar. An unassisted goal at 318 of the second period. The Vegas leads for the second time. A one-on-one goal game. Now they have a two-goal lead. Barbashev. That might have been tipped in at the goal front by Marcia So. And the Golden Knights lead 3-1. Hey, it was still 1-1. you got to get back to work. And the turnover leads to Kolasar's goal. A good forecheck down the wall by Juan Barbashev. And that puck is through traffic. And much like that, the first goal that was tipped. Managed to get it into the Ranger end. Gustafson, Zabanajad, now Panarin. Back for Zabanajad. Oh! in front and smothered by hell you know in in january the worst statistical goaltender in the national hockey league it just doesn't seem to make any sense but he's got to fight through here as the rangers start for 90 seconds on this power play to see if they could get themselves to within one goal well it'll be white cloud back on it again for vegas two minutes played third period Here's Barbashev, and he had a follow-up shot, and they score. Off the hard cam, off the back wall, it's Marcia so who continues on a heater. 4-1 to Vegas. Found off the wall behind the net and beat Shesterkin to the short side. The Barbashev shot on the rebound. It's the one that he's shot wide, and Marcia so is going to come from outside the zone and outwork... Keandre Miller to the front of the net. Miller gets caught leg straight, coast, not deep enough, nor aware enough that Marcia so is sitting right behind him. The fact that the problems are... Here's another great chance, oh. and Shesterkin his best save of the night with Rempel looking for his second. In around for Gustafson. Nice pass, Truba, lots of room. Truba, glove saved by Hill crossbar he gets this chance from Jacob Truba I don't know how much of that he saw he's got to be staring at the Johnson was the number three star of the week in the NHL last week and uh, he probably won't play much going forward here's a chance and another save by Hill Ray what has happened to Los Angeles well there's a rebound goal Capo Caco well, you just saw a little uh, betting note in the uh, bug. You're glad you uh, were watching with a minute and five to go. This puck hits Petrangelo right in the backside and drops down for Capo Caco. Now, while this might not change the outcome tonight, any time a guy that hasn't scored in a while scores, Truba and Wheeler, the assist. So a goal and an assist tonight for Blake Wheeler. Long pass. Here's another open net and a hat trick. Bad! And Jonathan Marcheseau has three. There's no hotter player in the NHL right now. Career hat trick for Jonathan Marcheseau as he gets a little bit of a one on one and gets outside of Gustafson and. Puts it in the cage and finish it in Detroit tomorrow against the Red Wings.
5-2 the final.